Millington Drake is the upcoming actor and improviser who's taking over your social feed. The stars had millions of views thanks to his hilarious impressions, including this mashup of The Holiday and Love Actually. Oh my God, Jude! What do you want? I'm in love with you, Kara. I need you. It's carol singers. Daytime carol singers. <laughs> but it was his uncanny impersonations of Richard E. Grant that made international headlines when he came face to face with the real thing. Who the hell are you? I'm Richard E. Grant. Who the hell are you? I'm Richard E. Grant. <gasps> well, if you're Richard E. Grant, then fill in the blank. Hello, my name is Richard Blank Grant. E. Damn. Foiled at the first hurdle. If you're Richard E. Grant, who's <laughs> Richard <laughs> Luke Millington Drake joins us live from London. Welcome Hello. to the morning show. Lovely to see you. Hello. Richard E. Grant. Hello. What a great <laughs> sport was he. How did, how did he oh, get involved yeah. with this skit in the first place? Oh, I mean, well, first of all, like, yeah, Richard is an absolute legend for going along with this idea that I had. Um, I've been doing uh, impressions of him when he hosted the BAFTAs and whatnot, and um, he was so kind to repost them for me, was always so supportive, and so it started a conversation in our DMs, which then led to me being like, what if we, <laughs> we met up <laughs> and I had this idea, I wrote this little sketch, and what if we filmed it together? And he was so into it, he was so amazing. And, yeah, he's the best. He's the best. <laughs> yeah, as if we didn't love Richard E. Grant enough, he went and did this with you and it was just took it to a whole new level. Kieran Absolutely, Knightley, yeah. honestly, Kieran Knightley <laughs> is another favourite of yours. Let's look at yeah. your take of Kieran Knightley with Drew Barrymore. Oh my gosh. I am <laughs> so excited to meet you, Kira. <laughs> and I, you, Drew. It is often past my mind, like the winds of the northern nights that our two souls pined intertwine. I couldn't agree more, especially because I also know that you really love roller coasters. <laughs> yes, I do. What a dark, what a plunge. Roller coasters mock the very fragility of the human experience, reminding one to not take one so seriously when one is wanting. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you realise that you didn't just sound like Kira Knightley, but you look like her too? Mind you, you do a really good Drew Barrymore, but Kira Knightley Thanks. is just spot on. Oh yeah, she's the absolute best. And by the way, they do both love roller coasters. I pulled that actually from an interview of Kira on the show where they swap notes on like both loving roller coasters. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like you do more research for those clips than we do on the show. Um, you, you got mil millions of views on TikTok, millions and millions. How did they how did they blow up in the first place? Do you remember the first time you looked at the the results online? Well, well this is a thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't sit here and say that I did it all myself. My brother was the one who was like, get your, get your characters online, do it, do it, do it. And so it was just at that time in COVID where everyone was at home on their phones and it was an algorithm and a lottery and I just got so lucky that people responded and came back for more and kept watching and, you know, enjoyed the silliness that I was making sort of within the four walls of, yeah. of being stuck inside at the time, so... Yeah, this is yeah. kind of your world, though. So it's not like you're a plumber who can just do this. You're, you're in the <laughs> yeah, acting. Yeah. You're, you're in this sort of acting and, and script writing world. You lived in America for a yeah. while. You scored a small yeah. part on that on the Netflix uh, That's 90s show. What was it like yeah. to be part of a big production? It was the most incredible experience. I think the best part of that whole experience, I mean, sitcoms, I was raised on watching Friends and Will and & Grace, so being on any sitcom set was amazing. But one of my favourite memories was in between takes, sitting with Deborah Jo Rupp, who's one of the stars of the show, and her telling me stories about when Betty White was on the show, and that was the most amazing thing. So it's a real family um, sensibility that they have on that show, which was great. So it was incredible. Yeah, so yeah. lucky. Now, we hear you're a bit of a fan of Australian comedy. So uh, who yes. are some of your faves? Well, I mean, there isn't a day that goes by without me saying to myself, look at Moe, look at Moe, look at Moe. <laughs> you know, I'm, of course, a diehard Kathy <laughs> Kim fan. But I also love um, Hannah Gadsby and Reese Nicholson. And, of course, the late, great Barry Humphreys. You know, mm. Dear Madno was always on TV when I was growing up, so... How's your, yeah. how's your Australian accent? Um, I think it goes no, not much further than look at me, look at me, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> and also true and pro and are oh, no, You know, it's, I, don't worry, I'm offending everyone by doing that, I'm sure. No, <laughs> but, no, not at all. Actually, uh, uh, because of your work, too, you do quite a good American tourist, like a... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. My mum's American. I'm half English, half American. So a lot of the American comes from her growing up when, you know, she was like, oh, my gosh, everything's just going wild. Isn't it crazy? And I was like, yeah, and that just <laughs> stuck with me. <laughs> uh, so what's next? I think maybe like a movie with you and Kira would be awesome. Mm, nice. 
Nice. Oh, well, there is a version of a script where we play a brother and sister, which I have ready to go a <laughs> lot. But um, definitely, like, producing and starring and um, working on my own projects is um, a goal. I trained at the Groundlings Theatre, which was home to, like, Melissa McCarthy and Will Ferrell and oh, Jennifer famous, Coolidge. Yeah. And the whole thing is... The whole, the whole point of that theatre is to teach you your point of view and how to write for it. So that's my goal, is to keep making stuff and being, you know... Being goofy. <laughs> I can see it now. Kath and Kim and Luke coming to the screens of Seven. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kath and Kim and Luke, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much for yeah. having me. And keep entertaining us with those hilarious skits. They're just awesome. Thanks, Luke. I certainly yeah. will. Thank you. Bye. Bye.